Oh man, so Carly Russell. Carly Russell is back in the news today and she has finally received her sentencing for faking her kidnapping just to make an ex-boyfriend jealous. I think, I don't, I don't even know why. Even when bro spoke about a situation, he made it seem like they wasn't even beefing. We did cover that before when the ex-boyfriend spoke on Carly disappearing from him. He made it seem like there wasn't even no beef between them. Why did she do that shit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But lo and behold, they're saying that Carly Russell dodges jail time and she receives one year probation in order to pay nearly $18,000 in restitution. Now, Judge David Carpenter suspended her two six-month sentences, stating it would be a waste of government resources to put you in jail. Russell was placed on supervised probation for 12 months and will have to pay over $17,000 in restitution. And that's it right there, man. Yeah, that's her walking into the whole situation, walking inside there. Yeah, bro. What y'all think about that? Let's read some comments, huh? Because I got to wait for you to see what y'all got to say. But let me see what they saying in the comment section over here. So this says, what job is going to hire after telling this big lie? Good question, man. 18K, I go missing for real this time. <laughs> she really dodged the bullet. This entire story pisses me. Yo, 18K because you faked the kidnapping is crazy. That was corny. So honestly, she does, she does deserve to pay. So this person says, I feel like that's enough. The embarrassment associated to her name will be far worse. You are Carly Russell lie. <laughs> God damn. Did they ever say where she was at the whole time? Yeah, she was at a hotel. All right, this is the last one we'll read because it's a little long, you know. Uh, this lady says, I don't think anyone truly felt like she deserved jail. And kudos to this entire police department and county jurisdiction for the way they handled this very odd case. Accountability was needed and accountability was had. It clearly takes someone struggling with mental health in some capacity to create chaos of this magnitude and demonizing her for the rest of her life does absolutely nothing purposeful for anyone who was involved. All right, so that's why we wrap it up right there, man. Pretty much what they're saying in the comment section, that echoes my sentiments when it comes to the situation. Yeah, I don't think she deserved to be in jail, but I think the embarrassment should be enough for her because I don't know what the hell she gonna do moving forward. She may have to, I don't know, she may have to reconstruct her face. I don't know, I changed change her name. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. Good luck to you, but lesson learned. Lesson to be learned for everyone out there. This ain't the way to go. For, for attention, whatever, this ain't the way to go. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.